Hi YouTube, in today's video we will be creating Wolverine as a flat design from Sketch in Adobe Illustrator. Import the sketch onto a 1920 by 1080 canvas. Create three layers and name them Outline, Color, and Reference. Double click on the Reference layer icon, check on the Template mode, and dim the opacity to about 25%. Let's use a black outline with an 8 points thickness with rounded caps and corners. Press Command and Control R to bring up the ruler guides. Click and drag a guide at the center of the canvas. Since this is a symmetrical drawing, we can draw one side then mirror it to the left afterwards. Begin by creating the head with a circle. With the direct selection tool, select two anchors and delete them leaving the left side only. Activate the pen tool and start drawing straight lines to match his mask. Activate the curve tool and click on the straight lines and curve them by dragging your cursor. We can then round out the corners with the direct selection tool. You will notice some overlapping lines and we can clean these up by selecting all and activating the shape builder tool. Pull the option key and carefully click on the lines to delete it. Let's move on to the eye. Finalize by curving the lines with the curve tool once more. Continue tracing the lines of his head. Starting from the middle, let's trace the jaw and facial features with the pen tool. Clean up or combine lines and shapes with the shape builder tool as we did earlier. Now let's zoom out and select all and activate the reflect tool. Go to the center point, option click and confirm by clicking on copy. Following these methods, we will complete the remainder of the outline. Alright, so now that the main outline is complete, let's add some detail. We're going to taper off the ends of each line using the width tool. This will make our illustration look more interesting to look at. Simply click and drag on the lines to adjust the thickness. You can then just delete the line on the right and mirror the new tapered one to the right. We're done the outline process, so let's add the base colors. Select all and go to the Layers panel and hold Option on your keyboard and drag the green square down to the blue layer. This created a duplicate. Hide and lock the original outline layer for the moment. Now on this layer, we will remove all unnecessary lines and keep only the main shapes which are closed off. Select all and activate the Paint Bucket tool by pressing the letter K on your keyboard. With this tool, Select a color from your color palette and click on the shapes to assign it. I'll be using colors from my Dom Designs color palette which you can download on my Etsy store today. Once done adding the colors, go to the object menu and select expand. Then right click and ungroup. Select only the black outline and delete it leaving the color shapes behind. Finally, head to the Layers panel and unhide the outline layer to show the full illustration. So now, what we will do is add a pattern to Wolverine's clothes. Go to the Swatches panel, go to Open Swatches Library, under Pattern, Basic Shapes, and select Dots. You will see that dotted patterns were added to the Swatch panel. Select Wolverine's yellow suit and do a copy and paste in front, creating a duplicate.
select that top shape and assign a dotted pattern to it and head to the transparency panel and change the mode to overlay. To finalize the illustration, we will add some shadows and highlights. Select the face shapes right here. Do a copy and paste in front twice to create three shapes on top of each other. Select the top shape and push it upward, creating a gap where the chin is. Select the two top shapes and activate the Shape Builder tool. Click on the shape at the bottom of the chin to extract it and delete the others. Select that new shape and give it a darker shape to create a shadow effect.